Okay, so in this example, we're going to be talking about geometric sequence. So up until this point, we have been talking about arithmetic sequences, and now we're going to talk about geometric. Now, off to the right here, you can see the equation we use for an arithmetic sequence, listed right here. And here's a new equation. This is what we're going to be using if we're dealing with a geometric sequence. Now, the key difference between an arithmetic and a geometric sequence is that an arithmetic sequence has a common difference. We call D, right? Between its terms. With a geometric, it has a common ratio between its terms, and we call that R. Okay, so if we look at the problem, it says find the next three terms in the sequence. So our first step is to determine are we dealing with arithmetic or geometric? Okay, and how you do that is you check your terms. So let's check to see if it's arithmetic. Again, if it's arithmetic, it will have a common difference between all of its terms, right? So let's see if it's going to be arithmetic. So we know here that going from negative 3 to negative 6, that'll have a common difference of negative 3. Okay, and then going from negative 6 to negative 12, that will be negative 6. And we can already stop here because we can see that, well, it's not consistent, right? It does not have a common difference, okay? So we know that, okay, it's not going to be arithmetic. So this sequence here is not arithmetic. Let's check to see if it's going to be geometric, okay? And we do that by checking the ratios of the terms, okay? So for example, if it has a common ratio, it will in fact be geometric. And to determine that, you simply just take, in this case, you'll take your second term and divide it by your first term. So for example, you'll do negative 6 divided by negative 3, and that will give you 2. Okay, and you're just going to continue on doing this, moving forward. So then you go to your third term, and you divide it by your second term. So negative 12 divided by negative 6 is going to give you, again, positive 2, right? Continuing on, we go to the fourth term, so the fourth term divided by the third term, negative 24 divided by negative 12, again, positive 2. So you can see here that we have a common ratio, right, between all of our terms, and we call that R, okay? So the equation is very similar to arithmetic. A of 1 is talking about your first term in the sequence. R, we just went over that, is talking about your common ratio. And N is talking about the number of the term in the sequence, okay? So very similar to the arithmetic, okay, except now you have this common ratio. So we have the first, second, third, fourth, terms, right? We want to find the fifth, sixth, and seventh terms, okay? And we're going to do that by using this equation here, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and just write this in another color. We're going to find the fifth term of this sequence, and we're going to say a of 5. So a of 5 equals, again, your first term is going to be negative 3, so write negative 3. Our common ratio we determine is going to be 2. Okay, and that represents the number of the term you're trying to find in the sequence. So that's going to be 5. So we have 5 minus 1. Okay, and just doing this out, we get a of 5 equal to, this is going to give us negative 3. So we get 5 minus 1, you know that's going to be 4. And then 2 to the 4th power, well, that's going to give us 16. So we get 16 here. And at this point, all we have to do is simply multiply negative 3 times 16. We're going to get negative 48. So we get negative 48. So that's going to be the fifth term in this geometric sequence. So we can just record that here. A of 5 is going to be negative 48. Okay, now we want to find the sixth term of the sequence, so a of 6, and we're going to go through the same steps here. So let's just erase this, and going through the same process, we're going to say a of 6, a of 6 equals, again, our first term here is going to be negative 3, a of 1, and then our common ratio is 2. Again, we're trying to find the sixth term now, so that's what we replace n with, 6 minus 1. Okay, so a of 6 equals negative 3, then we get 2, so 6 minus 1, we get 5, okay, and then we 
we just get a of 6 equal to negative 3. 2 to the 5th power is going to give you 32. So we get 32, right? So we get negative 3 times 32. So we're going to get negative 96 here. Okay? So a of 6 is negative 96. Okay? So we're almost done. Let's just find that 7th term now. So a of 7, again, just going through the same process. So this. So it's just finding that last term now. We get a of 7 equal to get negative 3. Again, that's our first term, our common ratio. Okay? And then we're trying to find the seventh term. So minus 1, right? So a of 7 equals negative 3. Okay, and then we get 2. This will give us to the sixth power. Okay, so we're just performing this out. We get 2 to the 6th power times a negative 3. So we get a of 7 equal to, this will give us negative 3. 2 to the 6th power is going to be 64. And then just multiplying this out, we're going to get negative 192. Negative 192. Right, so here are our next three terms, okay, in this geometric sequence. Okay, so that's how you use the equation, and you may be looking at this and saying, well, that's a lot of work. You could have just multiplied each term by two, right? But again, this is how you use the equation, all right? And that is it.